All right, we are back in our role as citizen scientists, and uh, we've already done the flinkers. We've got them here, but now we're getting ready to conduct yet another experiment. Oh, so Brad Peroni of the Carnegie Science Center is here again to show us how science can clean dirty water. That's right. All right. I'm intrigued by this. I, I'm, I'm a little skeptical of what you say you can do here, Brad. All right. Well, let me tell this you. this is good and dirty. That is good and dirty. And for actually almost a billion people on planet Earth, that's what their water looks like every day that oh. they have available oh to drink. Wow. So what we have here is a powder that actually can clean that up and do as good of a job as a water treatment plant. Now, would you mind shaking that up for me for Not at all. a couple of minutes? We've already put some powder in here. This one we've left untreated so we can see the difference and uh, so what this does is it has uh, crystals inside that attract the dirt particles in the water okay. and then there are other chemicals in here called flocculants which gather up all that dirt and they make it heavy so that it sinks down to the bottom. So you've already put Look some of that. this powder. I put you a show scoop us the in powder there. Just in your hand is it like white powder? Oh, it's a white powder. I can Oh, it's kind of okay. A yellowish. Yeah, it looks okay. like uh, cornstarch or something yeah yeah look, so look at the difference already yes yeah, so there's a big difference oh, wow. here so uh, this is a process that takes half an hour to get clean drinkable mm -hmm. water and after it's been cleaned of the dirt there's a time delayed chlorine that's released there to kill any of the germs that might be present. Oh, so in that's the water. built into the packet. It's all built into the packet. Where so, do you get these? So these are usually used in areas that are uh, suffering from natural disasters mm -hmm. like earthquakes, hurricanes, uh, or in areas of the world where water treatment is just not available. Uh, so the folks uh, that make these, Procter and Gamble, they usually sell those. Uh, at a loss to non-government organizations so they can use them in their work Try to in help those people areas. Wow. In, a, in a bad situation, right. make drinkable water. So right. when it releases the chlorine in it, then this becomes drinkable? Obviously you would not Yeah, the we filter part, off the, uh, the clear water from the sediment and then after you know, 20 to 30 minutes of chlorination, then that water's safe to drink. So one of these packets can uh, clean two and a half gallons of water for a person, wow. and that's uh, plenty for a day. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. So this is one of the things that you're going to be demonstrating at the yes. Science Center. But really, the and and the flankers. Mm -hmm. And the flankers. Uh, but there's uh, so many other things, too. We talked about the, right. the rock skipping, yes, uh, which I can't rock do. Skipper. I don't know how. I don't know Kurt Steiner, he'll be there on the 18th. Uh, we've also got uh, River Bingo. That's going to be a fun oh. one for the families to play. So Wait a minute. What is River Bingo? River Bingo. People, people love are gonna bingo get, in Pittsburgh. Uh, a bingo card with okay. things that you can find around the three rivers. And so we're encouraging people to go out and explore around the area and see what they can find. Get five in a row, you can win a sticker to prove that you're a bingo champion. Okay. Awesome. So this will all be next weekend then for the next H2O weekend. River Absolutely. Event. Thank you so much Very for cool. being here and for showing Absolutely. us. It's almost magic. It really is. Yeah. I know it's yeah, just science. You see how much like of a magic. change there already Very is in clear. that water, and that's helping people all over it the world. It sure is. Well, come learn more about the water around us at the upcoming H2O River Weekend at the Carnegie Science Center. And again, that's August 17th and 18th.